Greetings, my fellow intellectuals and bookworms. This will be a somewhat unscheduled video. I've been really busy with school, so that's why I haven't uploaded in a while. So today we will be doing a book review on the book, The New Koreans, right here. I got it for $28.99 at Barnes & Noble, and it's a great book. I really loved it. I give it five out of five stars. It's a political science book. And what it argues is that the rise of South Korea means that, that by economic power alone, South Korea will eventually reunify with the North. Now, it also argues that it would likely be some sort of military confrontation, which goes along the lines of North Korean forces try and invade the DMZ. They get pushed back by South Korean forces. And... Odds are, within a few days, North Korea is overwhelmed. Now, the book also argues that reunification is somewhat unlikely. One, the South Korean military has been wargaming it out a lot. And, they, and the South Korean army knows that they can beat the North Koreans. They have less soldiers, but their soldiers are better equipped. Most North Korean equipment is from the 50s or earlier, so it won't work. However, the South Korean army does not want North Korea. You know why? Because they'll end up with 23 million half-starved, poorly educated citizens who now need social services like education, welfare, you get the point. South Korea itself has about 50 million people. They would add 23 million citizens from the North, but then it would be a problem. So, yeah, reunification now, there's only a few wild cards with that situation. One is that North Korea has nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons. Two, allies. South Korea could defeat North Korea on its own. Now, if we're, now let's be honest. North Korea would probably be defeated in a few days if given a chance. But the problem is now they have a bunch of refugees they need to take care of. And then there's also a question of would Kim Jong-un, if he's losing, um, give, be tempted to use chemical, biological, or nuclear weapons? Well, that depends. One, if he does so, it's he's kind of caught in a blind. If he doesn't do, do so, he's not going to win the war. But if he does so, odds are China and Russia will abandon him. In terms of allies, South Korea could defend itself, even if America wasn't involved. But let's, But what does South Korea have? The U.S. and Japan and all of NATO to protect it. What does North Korea have? Two somewhat unwitting allies, China and Russia. China barely supports North Korea, and it's mainly whenever North Korea shows up, China gives them either weapons or money. China buys raw materials from them, about $4 billion worth, and sells them manufactured goods. Now... China's getting sick of giving North Korea stuff, aid like f fuel or guns. And China mostly gives them crap guns that don't work from the 40s. So, I'd say it's a very interesting book. It, it goes over all of Kore a lot of Korean history and how it affects the nation both economically and politically. I would highly recommend it. Five out of five stars. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not done so. This has been another book review from Sean Hartnett. Now, if I don't get any videos out in a while, odds are it's because I'm busy with school. It's back to school, and for high school, I have an AP class, and I've got a lot of work to do. So, bye.